Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can get free review products to review on your channel with no subscribers. And I did it. You can check out my previous videos. I've talked about a free keyboard that I got. Uh, I did it without uh, even less than 100 subscribers. And I'm going to teach you guys how you can do it yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing I want to mention is that don't start YouTube just because of the free goodies because trust me it's not worth it and unless you're really popping on YouTube you're going to have to really work hard even to just get a reply from one of these companies alright so keep in mind that just because these companies aren't looking for any subscribers don't expect them to give you free products for nothing your channel should at least have five videos on it with videos relating to the products you're asking for so you can't be having makeup videos and then ask for free tech stuff you kind of get the deal right and you also need to have good reviews on it so as long as you have at least five videos related to tech or whatever you want and some reviews you're pretty much good to go okay so you want to start off by creating a template which you can spam onto all these sellers and companies uh, this process will be much faster and easier with the help of the template so I kept a link in the description of the template that I use which you can use as well but I recommend that you change it up um, yeah now keep in mind that when you send about 20 emails you will only get about one positive email and most companies or sellers will just ignore your email completely or some people will just send you a complete no but either way just don't lose hope okay okay Okay, so now when creating this template, you want to be as professional as you can. You want to try to paint yourself as a really good YouTuber, really professional and really, you know, really polite. Just be very polite because you're kind of begging in a way if you think about it. So just be really polite. So start off with something like Dear and then put the company name and just introduce yourself a little bit. Be like, okay, so I upload these type of videos on YouTube uh, I have a little fan base with around 50 subscribers or something and usually what I did was I had around 70 subscribers so what I did was instead of saying I have 70 subscribers I was like I have a little bit under 100 subscribers so just word the email really carefully and put a lot of thought into it because this is your first impression because you don't want to be like, yo, what's up, can I have this free whatever headphone or something? You don't want to be like that, you want to be really polite, really professional, and you really want to be wise when wording out the email. But you don't want to lie to these companies saying, oh, I have 400,000 subscribers, when you really don't. Uh, because at the end of the day, you're going to be linking your channel or your best video at the end of the email. So they're going to check your channel out anyway, so what's the point of lying? So just be honest but just be honest in a clever way, that's what I like to say. Okay, so most of the companies that will be willing to work with you are usually really small companies that are usually based out of China. Don't expect big, big organizations like Samsung, Apple or whatever to like email you back, just don't even bother trying. So the easiest way to find these small Chinese companies are through Amazon. Amazon has a whole lot of sellers who sell items straight from China and there are Chinese companies that would really love to gain some exposure so they are kind of desperate in a way but I don't want to use that word but in a way they are desperate and they just are willing to give away free products even if you don't get any views <laughs> now when requesting for products just don't be specific don't be like I want this SSD or I want this earphone whatever just don't be specific guys be open to whatever they're willing to give you let it be a little phone case or even a bluetooth speaker right just be open be like I would love any free sample that you would love to provide me with I really am looking to review some of your products and just be really open to almost anything they offer and most of the time just don't reject it especially if it's your first time receiving something for free just say okay even if it's something really small just be like yeah sure I'll do it alright just have that open positive mindset and guys just for everyone who came to this video expecting to get like a free phone or something I'm sorry but that's not gonna happen unless like you're really big on YouTube with at least a few thousand subscribers you're not going to be getting a phone you will get a phone case though, not a phone. I would say $100 would be the maximum of the budget that the free product will be in. And I mean, it's kind of expected, right? You don't want to give up free expensive stuff 
to a random stranger on the internet, right? And there's not going to be a contract between this either. But don't get me wrong here, just because you start small doesn't mean you have to stay the same way. Like clearly, I started off by reviewing a $25 keyboard and now I'm getting emails from other companies which go all the way up to $70 keyboards. So as you can see, there's sort of an improvement. So if you start off with something really cheap, just don't worry about it. Just accept it, you build your way up. Okay, so now let's say you got a business deal and the company is willing to send you out a product. And now you notice that they don't want to refund it through Amazon. Now this is because Amazon announced a new policy a couple of months ago where they stated that sellers are not allowed to give out free review products anymore. Now this is because that seller might be giving out free products to receive biased reviews. And I totally understand why Amazon is doing this. They want their customers to get honest reviews and I totally understand that I have nothing against Amazon either. But if you think about this, these sellers need a way of advertisement. And one of the main ways that they advertise their products are through content creators and by influence through them. So they found a workaround which I've been told by a lot of sellers. Okay, so the workaround is that you basically have to purchase the item and then email them back with the order number and then they will usually do a direct refund through Amazon. Now this doesn't ha happen with every seller. So some sellers like to give you a free direct refund which is kind of convenient for the buyer which is the YouTuber or you. Uh, but some sellers want to have a verified review. So what I mean is when you refund a product and then do a review, it won't count as a verified review. So some sellers just say, don't worry, I'll pay you back through PayPal and they ask for your PayPal account, not account, but PayPal email. And I don't know, I've never done the PayPal refund method. You guys can do it. Um, because usually through direct refunds, the seller I worked with said that I'll do a direct refund for the first item, but if you want to review any more of our products, we'll have to do with something like an Amazon gift card, or they'll just pay me back through PayPal, because if Amazon sees that, oh, this guy's getting refunds constantly from the same seller, something is suspicious, and the seller is gonna be in trouble. Now, this brings me to the next statement. Like I said, Amazon is really concerned about like fraud and all that stuff, so they, ha they have this filter system which detects email addresses or phone numbers which are sent throughout their messaging system. And what sellers and I both do is that just go to paint, type, uh, type in your email and save it as an image file. And what you can do is send this email image file through the Amazon chat service and they can filter that. So just be like, here I, I, I've left my email in the image below, contact me through that and we'll discuss. So that'll be easier for you and the seller both because it's much more convenient. And also some sellers might just email you back with the image containing the email address of their marketing department. Now this is because a lot of the mid-range Chinese companies have different segments or departments in their company like the marketing, customer service, hardware repairs and all that stuff. So you want to be getting a hold of the marketing department because those people will be the ones that can issue a free product for you. Okay, so since you will be using Amazon the most to get a hold of these sellers or companies, you want to have an image on Amazon. So what you can do is go to your profile and actually customize it. What I mean is add your logo or maybe a professional picture of yourself and then write a little description about you. Give, give out a little bit of information like your interests, your hobbies, what you do for a living if you, do, if you have a job or something and just let them know a little bit of information about yourself. And also link your YouTube channel in the social media section on the Amazon profile. And also just keep in mind that whenever you buy any product on Amazon for your personal use, just be sure to review it. It can be a good or bad review, just review it so that the seller who checks your Amazon profile knows that okay, he knows how to give a decent review about a product. Okay, so let's assume that you talked everything through with the seller, you made your payment, you received a refund, and you received the item on mail. What do you do now? Well, you basically use it for one whole day. Alright, so I received this keyword, I used it for one day. I typed on it, I like, you know, I did a lot of stuff with it. And then, you get to experience it. And then the next day, you want to start recording the video. You want to mention all the problems you had with it, everything good about it and what you like to see as an improvement. You don't want to sugarcoat the review just because you received it for free. 
Now, I've seen like a couple of YouTubers who got free sponsored items and they just make it sound so good when they deep inside know it's not as perfect as they make it sound like. This is not good, at least not in the tech industry because tech creators or tech companies always want to know their problems and their flaws, especially a new starting company, so they can improve. So if you're not telling them their problems, they will not improve. So if you really think about it, you should actually tell them their problems so they can make a better product and hopefully let you review that product as well. So when you do this review, you want to do your best job possible. Best editing, do some really good color grading if you can use your best wording and just make it sound as professional as possible just do a whole lot of stuff to improve the quality of the content finally when you upload it to youtube and when you're done with the amazon review as well take both links and email it back to the seller this will let the seller know that you are a good reviewer and a very responsible youtuber or content creator as well Okay, what this will do is that you will gain some trust with the company and this will usually lead the company to send you more products for review. So always do that and what I did was that in the description and on my channel page, I left an email saying contact me for business inquiries using this email and believe it or not, last week I actually received an email from another company asking me to review another keyboard, the one that I was talking about for $70. So what this means is you want to link your first review to your second review and just keep on doing that and your business deals will keep coming. So maybe if I do the second deal, I might get a third one with a more expensive product and you just build your way up. Okay, I guess this is it guys. Just keep on doing this process over and over again and trust me, eventually you will get a reply. This will be a positive reply. Like, trust me, there are tons of new companies who are desperate to get their name out there so they are willing to give you a free product no matter how bad your channel looks like right now. Doesn't matter if you don't even have 5 videos, there are even some people who get free products for just asking guys. If you don't ask, they will never know about you. So you better go there, just dedicate a few hours and just spam all these companies, right? You want to get your name out there and eventually they will send you something. There are tons of desperate companies out there and there's a lot. I can't stress it enough. A lot of people quit emailing companies after a few emails. This is this is normal guys. I had to send over a hundred emails just to get like one or two replies. So you just keep trying and eventually um, you'll get something, I promise. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys actually do get something by watching this video. I hope you actually do get a product to review and if you do, be sure to let me know that you got something in the comment section below. Uh, share your experience with what you had on Amazon or something and I would be ha happy to reply and talk with you. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's video. This is Tech Alpha signing out with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace!